five and welcome to Wednesday's maths lesson where today we're looking at converting fractions, decimals and percentages. So remember they are all ways of representing different amounts so it's possible to convert between all three of them. So the first problem I'm looking at is I'm looking at 18% and I want to find what that is as a fraction and what it is as a decimal. Now that word cent We've heard that word before, and the C in Roman numerals, we've also seen it before, and the C equals 100. So percent means out of 100, okay? So if we were to change this into a fraction, we could write 18 over 100. So it's 18 out of 100. If I was to show that physically, my 18%, well here I've got my 100 square, and I've got 18 parts coloured, so you can see my 18% as well, so my 18 out of 100, and that helps me to visualise what we're actually doing. Now if I was to then turn that into a decimal, well what the fraction's really saying is it's 18 out of 100, so it's 18 divided by 100, Okay, to work it out, so I need to do 0 0.18. Remember my class, we spoke about shifting the numbers in our place value columns to help us out there, so that could be a really useful thing that you could do there. So I've got then percentages to decimals. To do that, my percentage, to get to my decimal, I am dividing by my 100, so I can divide that by 100, or I can divide that by 100 to work out this amount. To get back from my decimal to my percentage, I need to do the inverse, which is to multiply by 100, okay? If I had a fraction um, that wasn't out of 100, say I had a, let's just try and write one, Well, the easiest way to do this, because I've got to work out my decimal and my percentage, is I would say finding the percentage, so out of what it is out of 100 first, is easier, and then convert it to my decimal. So if I've got one fifth, well, I've got to make that into an equivalent fraction, which we spoke about the other day. So if I write over here, so I write one fifth equals turn that into my hundredths, so fives into a hundred, five times twenty. I knew that because five times ten is fifty, and if I double that amount I get a hundred, so therefore I have to double my ten to get twenty, so five times twenty is a hundred. Now remember whatever I do to the bottom I have to do to the top, so I'll multiply that by twenty. So I've now got 20 over 100. That makes it a lot easier now to work out my percentage because what I'm saying is there's 20 pieces. So it's 20, I'll move this square out of the way. So I've got 20% because I've already worked it out out of 100. And again, to find that decimal from a percentage to a decimal, I've got to divide it by 100. So I would have 0 0.2. I could write 0 0.20, but I don't have to. I would like you to now have a go at the examples in your workbook, please. Thank you very much.